Caddis Maximus here. I hope everybody's healthy and safe. This is a quick review of Harbor Freight's Fasten Pro, their $10 hand riveter, which actually seems like a pretty <laughs> decent deal to tell you the truth because it comes with a uh, hundred different rivets. So four of the most common fractional sizes and intelligently they actually have like a basic instruction guide. So for most weekenders, I would say, or uh, homeowners, this is probably going to be a decent ham riveter. And surprisingly enough, and the reason I picked this up is I haven't actually ever got one of these articulating hand hand riveters, just basically because I have right angle ones, or if I need to reach in the deeper places, uh, I use things like this. This is a like a professional hydraulic hand riveter that you can use with steel, like stainless steel rivets. These more basic types of riveters probably could run stainless steel rivets but it would be very hard on the tool and you'd be risking breaking it they need to be much heavier duty so these are aluminum rivets and the reason this fast and pro surprising for 10 bucks a harbor phrase it's much better than say a super cheap this is a very cheap uh chinese one and it's already broken the little rod what it has is this cheap one had a little hook piece that was this rod is just threaded into and it caught on a little bar down inside the handle. And so as you pull the handle, it would draw the bar, which turns a lever, which lifts up on this draw post, which is where the stem of the rivet is inserted. There's a couple of jaw teeth in there. And that little rod self-rotated until the nut fell apart. Really pretty terrible. Surprisingly enough, this Harbor Freight Fasten Pro has a better design. Let me get a flashlight. Here we are. Down inside here, if we can, they actually use a nylon lock nut and it's a through post. So that this one is not going to mechanically suffer the same fate as that really cheap version. Another tip about these riveters, if the jaws aren't gripping tight enough or you wanna to try to clean it out, all these riveters uh, that I've seen are able to be fully disassembled. You can turn this and remove the screws and get the whole head apart and totally rebuild it. You can adjust the tension of the jaws because of the mechanism that's in here. There's actually, a, it's like a barrel that has two little jaws that pinch onto the rivet to draw it up. There's a spring that presses down and there's a nut with a slot head that presses down the back of the spring and you can adjust the tension. And how you release the rivet is that you have to op let the riveter open all the way up because when the riveter hits the back of these little, and this does have a built-in wrench here, let me pull out one and pull this out. Wow, that wrench is surprisingly tight fitting. You interchange because you want to have the right size anvil for the rivet. Otherwise, some of the rivet can actually be drawn along the stem and get stuck in there and it doesn't properly rivet it. So there are the two little jaws that you can see. And then when you open it all the way up, it, they hit that little taper and they've spread apart and supposedly the little nail will fall out if it doesn't fall out then usually mo these are designed to pass through you can just put another rivet in and it'll just push it out the back the fit and finish actually looks halfway decent there's even a label area like this these seem like a pair like a more traditional harbor freight item where they have found uh some manufacturer who's rebranding a more professional grade uh, riveter and then just taking off the branding and bulk ordering them. They didn't even bother to put their Fasten, a Fasten Pro label on it. They just had new packaging made up. Which apparently on Alibaba all you need is a uh, thousand units. A thousand units you can get your own custom design packaging. Uh, on some products it's like five thousand units but it's kind of surprising. So you do have your traditional four anvils. The motion feels pretty decent. So the idea behind these is that you can uh, do an action where you can get pretty well straight on like with a large set of uh, pipe or bolt cutter style riveters uh, Since this is at a 45 degree when you're at an angle This is also 45 degrees so it allows you to get in the more awkward situations But this head's going to be a little bit taller of course than a, uh, a pair that is not designed to be articulating Anyway riveters rivets are great because uh, they're lightweight they're reliable. Aluminum is corrosion resistant. Uh, they draw surfaces up tight as long as you try to get them, you know, reasonably held together before you start your riveting process. 
it doesn't always get fully tight if in one handle push and you may have to hold it against and pump the handle a couple of times to get it to ratchet the nail out. We'll do one of these large ones. Is that the largest size? So anyway, yeah, they are they are a pain to remove, but otherwise they are a pretty good way to fasten things. Sometimes, if you're really into it, you can pound these collars off and then reverse them. And then when you rivet, usually that will leave the nail broken off uh, almost 100% of the time. So that's a way to get them to seal. Sometimes in normal direction, the nail will pull through. Depends on how tight the fit is. Rivets really uh, only expand so much. They work by pressing and uh, expanding out the aluminum as this nail head pulls through which means the tighter the fit, the better. So I have uh, some feeler gauges. I'm just gonna compare on how difficult it is. So this is a perfect size right here, this 330 seconds. That'd be 3 16 rivets, I should say. And it's already set up for the largest size and we'll see how much effort it really takes. Seems to grab okay, but pretty low on the handle. Got to hold all that together. until it breaks and that actually uh, left a little bit of the stub in there and uh, did expand it properly and see now the trick is to try to hold the materials tight when you begin with and then as it expands and draws the rivet down it really makes a pretty nice tight uh, fit so I was holding a couple feeler gauges to do that normally you would be against some type of surface maybe you're doing an automotive repair or boat repair or anything where you might use a rivet and you would be using both hands and you're definitely going to need both hands but if you're somebody who's going to be running more than just a few rivets um, i definitely recommend something that's more of a professional might be considered an aircraft grade tool is this is a whole hydraulic pump system built into a riveter and it gives you the opportunity to have a nice long nose on it come on camera let me see if we can't fix that up there we are. So I was easily able to pump that up with one hand and do the very same rivet. And because of the smooth action and the fact that I have a huge amount of leverage with a tool like this, um, and it just ejects it out the front, that's how they're normally supposed to work. Actually, both of these work perfectly. Sometimes those nails don't come out. But the smooth action with the hydraulic pump just having so much more force applied to it that when it broke the nail, it just reached its yield where it started stretching and then just uh, easily pulled apart instead of having basically a whole bunch of uh, spring-loaded force in the form of my hands on a tool like this where it finally cracks and uh, makes that popping sound. So, of course, a hydraulic tool would be smoother and obviously much easier for me to use one hand even with the largest uh, 3 16 rivets but that gives you an idea how much force it really takes and i have to really kind of pump them up uh, even on the mechanical ones and something like this harbor freight i guess i would worry most about this head here getting a little bit loose but there's probably some way to shim that up inside and i actually like the design here so if this head isn't moving at a distance that you like and adjust this knot in here there's actually enough space just to snake a quarter inch socket and an extension down in there so for 10 bucks and actually coming with some rivets to do uh, a simple project i definitely uh, go for these and to correct my earlier statement when you reverse the rivet then you allow that nail head to be like a little button and that's the uh, aesthetic aspect. I can't believe I forgot that earlier. It's been a while since I've uh, run these kind of riveters. Give them a drop of oil every once in a while, and they'll last a long time. And for people who are curious as to what the teeth do, they just grab onto the edge of the rivet there and uh, just bite in. And here's a better close-up of what the rivets do. They just mush out, so if you put a washer uh, on the back of the rivet, then it can be just a really, really solid and reliable connection. 
Very convenient. You don't need any threads or anything else. All you need is a drill and a hole and material thin enough. They make rivets of various length collars to pull together various thickness items. So you can get a huge variety of these things. And that's probably one of the biggest advantages. There's just a couple holes and you can put together sheet goods without uh, much issue whatsoever. And the neat thing about using rivets with washers is you can get soft material, leathers and tarp and all sorts of stuff. You can rivet together as long as you have a washer. Uh, sometimes you would use two. These are the small heads on the rivets and uh, then you can squish together anything. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.